What's going on fellow grinders? Mike Fleetwood here. Welcome back to the Daily Grind Trader. Tonight's video, I'm going to go over all the similarities and the differences between trading futures and trading margin and help you to identify which platform is the best for you. Stay tuned guys, there's a ton to go over. All right, everybody, there's no disclaimer on this video because I'm not gonna be going over any type of technical analysis. I'm just gonna show you exactly what the differences and the similarities are between futures and margin. So we're gonna hop into this and we're gonna do it like a slideshow. So we got KuCoin, I trade on KuCoin and this is how I know, and this is the, uh, the amount of leverage that I know. So um, I'm not gonna be able to speak to any other platforms. So we're gonna go over the similarities, we're gonna go over the differences and which one is best for you. So we're gonna kind of duke it out a little bit. So similarities, and these are just like very broad based similarities. There's margin, there's borrowing available, there's leverage. On margin uh, trading, you can go up to 5X for, for cross margin, and for futures, you can go up to 20X. And this is in the United States. I know in other countries, there's a much higher level of margin available, but uh, keeping this to the US because that's what I know. Uh, with the borrowing available, there's a potential to long the market or to short the market. So you can sell things that you don't actually own. You can put a sell position or a short position in and then potentially gain the, um, the USD or USDT you can gain that value from the actual um, asset going down. And there's a potential for liquidation. So that's why we got the crying Jordan here. You want to make sure that you protect yourself from liquidation. And I've got a video to show you how to become liquidation proof. It's actually my best performing video to date. I'll put that um, up top somewhere, but you can see how to, how to stop liquidation, how to be liquidation proof when it comes to margin trading. Differences, there's more differences than there are similarities. And I'm gonna to try, to, uh, try to go through these and then I'll actually show you guys um, my accounts on both because I trade some margin and I trade some futures, primarily futures though. Um, in margin trading, you buy or sell the coins themselves. You can actually put them in your wallet once your debt is paid. You can, if you win a good, um, a good long or a good short, you can pay off your debt and keep uh, what's left over in the coin and put it into your main account. Futures, you're only buying and selling contracts. You're just saying, you're essentially just betting on the price of the, of the coin or the, um, the currency future leverage is up to 20 times leverage where cross margin leverage is only up to 5x and again this is us based futures um, is only 5x unless you have a uh, id confirmation i believe um, you can't kyc in the us but if you confirm your id and there's something else that you might have to do but either way there is a way to get 20x leverage in in the us the user interfaces are completely different and I wish the margin user interface for KuCoin was more like the futures. So uh, KuCoin, if you see this and you're watching this, please, you know, the, the user interface for, uh, for futures is amazing. So if you can, you know, give, give the margin interface a little love, that'd be, that'd be awesome. The futures liquidation is per position. So if you have four positions, like I do right now in my futures account, I'm currently in four separate positions. Each one has its own liquidation price from the time that I entered the trade. Now I'm in four short positions and I'm currently in profit on all four, uh, three of which I've already taken some profits out. Uh, but the user interface for, for futures positions is super clean and easy to see. Margin and leverage, that's the amount of money is in per trade currently. And the leverage amount is, you know, 3.63x, 8.02x, and so on and so forth. Now, these numbers aren't what I entered at. They are what it's currently at based on how much profit I'm in. You know, see, this is 173% profit. I think this was a 15x entry or a 10x entry. I think it was 15x. Medic was a 20x entry, so that's 325% profit. And now it's only at 4x, so it's down from 20x down to 4x because of how much profit that position is in. Um, and you see here, Ravencoin was a 20x entry. Um, I'm only up 11% and it's only um, at 17.98 as opposed to being at 20% or 20x. 
uh, but you see that it's a short position. It's in red. You see how much was shorted. The entry price, the current mark price, the, length, the liquidation price, unrealized profit, realized profit, and then um, your preset, or you can preset your take profit and stop loss range. So that's what I have here. I have preset take profit and stop losses. So each one of these individual things can liquidate without affecting any of the other four. So if my AVAX, if the price went crazy up, it wouldn't affect my FTM position. It wouldn't affect my Matic position or my Raven position. Now I'm gonna show you my margin account. See, margin account, everything gets lumped together. Cross margin, everything gets lumped together. I have a total of $1,000 and $1,008 of borrowed, of, of total assets. My net is $269 because the liabilities is 738. So I owe, in the short position, I owe $632 for 0 0.03 Bitcoin in the short and $106 for 0 0.075 Ethereum in the short. As the value of these coins continue to go down, if the price keeps going down, then my liability will go down. My total assets will stay the same. So what I owe will be less. My net asset, what I keep will be more. But if either one, if Bitcoin shoots up or Ethereum shoots up, it could potentially liquidate both positions because it's a total sum of the whole debt ratio. And my whole debt ratio is at 73%. So 83, 93, so it's about 24% away from being liquidated because cross margin liquidates at around 97%. This is way, way, way safe comparatively because 24% change in price. I'm not going to allow that to happen. I'm in profit in both of these positions. So I'm gonna take a trailing stop loss before I ever get close to being in a, in a debt or in a uh, position to be liquidated. So that I want to show you for the difference between um, the user interfaces and the fact that futures liquidation is per position and margin liquidation is the whole account. On futures, you can use 100% of your funds. You can make a single 100% trade and your, your liquidation point will still be the same liquidation point. Um, it won't, it doesn't matter if you use 50%, 75%, 100%, you have only so much room for liquidation uh, based on the amount of leverage. And actually, again, one of the best things about futures is that they have this little handy dandy calculator here. So this calculator, you can check your liquidation price. Let's say I want to buy at 20 X leverage. What is this on? Uh, this is on Matic. Let's say my entry price for Matic is 0 0.7693. And I buy 10,000 Matic on 20X leverage, start the calculation. So if it drops down to 7501, I'm liquidated from 7693 to 7501 on 20X leverage. So that's a very small to very tight liquidation range. Now you change this to 15X leverage. Now you go down to 7372, go down to 10X leverage, 71. So now you get more and more range. I highly suggest not using 20X leverage unless you're very, very comfortable with, with your position and being less than like a 1% stop loss range, just so you know. Um, but on futures, you can calculate everything. You can calculate your profits, you can calculate your liquidation price. So I, I really do prefer futures myself, but I will tell you where, eventually I'll tell you where margin is better. So those are the differences. And then this is how you calculate margin um, liquidation prices. So I'm not gonna go over this too much. Like I said, I had the other video that, that will show you all of this, but there's a, there's a full calculation for how much you have in your initial investment, how much of it you execute in a trade with that amount of leverage and your liability versus your initial trade value. So there's a lot to this equation, but I do break it down for everybody um, so that you can be liquidation proof essentially. Now here, here's the last part. What's best for you? Futures offers higher leverage. If you have no interest in keeping the currency and you want a cleaner, more streamlined, easier to use UI, user interface. If you're not familiar with the UI abbreviation, it's user interface. Um, 
I will tell you that it is so much smoother to use features than margin, but margin is safer leverage. It forces you to have more room um, to not be liquidated, or there, there's more room to win or lose and not get liquidated. And you can keep your wins in the said currency. If Bitcoin drops down to my target price on my margin trade, I can take, instead of taking the, the winnings in, in USDT, I can take it in Bitcoin, still have zero debt, and move that Bitcoin to my, to my spot account or to my main account. So you can accumulate assets with margin, pay off your debt, and then accumulate what you have left over from, you know, if you have a 20% win or a 50% win, you know, if you trade a thousand FTM and you have a 50% win, you only have to pay back the amount of half of that and you can keep 500 FTM or whatever the case might be. And you can keep those and put it into your, your main account. So you guys, that's it. That's the biggest differences that I, that I can think of between futures and margin trading. And again, I'm primarily margin trading now. It's just so much smoother and cleaner for me to use, but uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you prefer margin, if you prefer, if you prefer futures or if you just spot trade. So hope you enjoy guys. I hope you find this video useful as always until next time. Peace.